Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome to Outcast Second Contact. This is a uh, sci-fi third-person open-world adventure game that is a remake of a game from 1999. You're seeing now is a little bit of uh, gameplay, because it is, uh, as usual, easier to show you than tell you sort of what the game uh, is all about. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I wanted to uh, give this game a shot because Apparently, the uh, the original game is very well loved, and uh, I've been wanting to do more open world stuff on the channel, especially after having just recently completed Ultima Underworld. So uh, yeah, the timing for this game is pretty excellent, I would say. It uh, just came out today, uh, which will be mid-November uh, 2017 here. Now, in this video, we're going to be going through, you know, what amounts to basically the tutorial area and uh, checking out the intro and stuff, which the intro is rather long. So yeah, this is going to basically set the stage for uh, all of our adventures to come here. Let's take a look. In the discovery of the superstrings theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. Many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zoo's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zhu was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. Almost to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday at 1630 GST, a top secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. 
We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance op needed at Hall G13. Red sector com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab techs, uh, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you and me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can't save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 so, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suit's a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with that. the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck.
Ulukai? Ulukai! Zonanikar! Sanguarta! Uh, you guys want to keep it down? <clears throat> My head is splitting. Ulukai, are you unhurt? I think so, Doc, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that, some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Sakrim, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kroax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Khazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zogrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me. Then I, to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as were many sacred objects of the Yogs. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, and I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai, but if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save a Talon's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Lan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Dalka, so you may leave.
All right, first off, <laughs> that was a hell of a long ass intro. Second off, uh, yeah, this game's it's a little uh, it's a little janky. Kind of sounds like the audio is peaking a bit. The uh, the dialogue. I guess we'll grab this. And looks like a med kit. Um, that's not me. That that's just uh, I think they're using the original voice recordings all the way from 1999. So that's probably why it sounds the way it does. Um, so I don't know. We'll try to balance things out as best we can. But yeah. How about that? We are... We are stuck here in a parallel universe without any of our, our crew. <laughs> and, uh... Luckily, we've managed to, uh... more or less be rescued by... this group of friendly aliens. Now, there's uh, all kinds of shit that we can do. For example, there's Jan. We should uh, chat with him. We will in a moment. For example, though, we can run over here and, like, grab some, uh, some various resources. I don't know what any of them are for, but we can pick them up, so I'm gonna do it. Now, uh, this is basically the tutorial area, so, uh, I'm not expecting a ton of action, uh, here, but, uh, once we get out, things will get a lot more interesting pretty quickly, I suspect. For some reason, they've got a bunch of our ammo stashed in here, too. I will take it. And, uh, let's chat up Jan here, shall we? What's up? Excuse me, pal. Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I'm glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad. Alright, let's start with a target test. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Alright, let's do it, man. Put this pistol to use. Also, I do love that uh, the uh, item we have here is the <laughs> the the Gamsav. This is uh, this is how we uh, are gonna save the game. This is one of my old saves from when I was goofing off, trying to get the gist of things. Because I will say, like the movement in this game feels like this fucking backpack is literally a ton of bricks on my back. It's uh, it's difficult to uh, to get the hang of the movement. At first, at least on a keyboard, uh, game uh, gamepad like Xbox controller was a little bit better, but uh, more difficult to aim, of course. So, let's uh, talk about this targeting test. Pardon me, buddy. What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. Notepad. All right, I think I can do that. Let's uh, see. Here we go like this. Bring up this menu here, and then we got our gun. You shoot pop, well. pop. You shoot well. Pop. No sweat. And I think that's it. What about this targeting test? You have finished that test, Ulukai. There is no need to repeat it. All right. Cool. Uh, let's uh, go grab this stuff that we. Uh, Knocked out of the pots here real quick. Whatever this thing is. Some red crystals. Sure, why not? I'm sure we'll find a use for them eventually. Now, uh, side note. You can absolutely shoot these people <laughs> if, you, uh, if you're if you feeling frisky. Uh, I don't recommend it. We also have a, a few different people we can talk to and some things we can talk about. We'll do that after we've done these tests. Um, so let's do the next test here. Let's try the, um, jumping test. Pardon me, buddy. Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. Amazing, I can't wait. <laughs> let's see it. I feel like, uh, maybe we gotta put a jacket on or something. It's a little, just a little bit chilly out here by the looks of things. Uh, alright. So, uh, jump test. What now? 
Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad accessed. If you say so, I think we can probably swing this. Let's go up here and, uh, just like so. See if we can make it up here. You know what? He's <laughs> cheering us on down there. Nice. Let's, uh, solve the game, <laughs> I guess. All right. Here we go. Oh, no sweat. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people. Turn on your receivers. Be careful coming down, Urukai. Uh, yeah. About that. Now, if we, um... We could just do, like, this. Yeah, there we go. We don't have to sprint. Um, you can mantle in this game a little bit, so if we had only barely made the jump, we would grab the ledge and be able to, to jump up that way as well. So that's pretty good. Don't run away from me, man. I ain't done with you. We've got, we've got a whole other two tests to do. All right, let's talk about swimming. Come here a second, would you? Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. All right. You know it's cold out though, right? Like I don't, I don't really want to die of hypothermia. It wasn't really on my to-do list for this mission. But, uh, you know, I'll humor you. The score, actually, uh, it's apparently another high point of the game, and the music is, uh, getting, like, a little bit of a Star Wars vibe out of it. But, uh, like, not quite. Not quite. Alright, let's talk about, uh, the details of swimming. Come here a second, would you? You want me to swim in there? I'll freeze my headset off. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Swim to the bottom to find the best ones, but be sure to protect your essence. Notepad. Oh, well, <laughs> useful items, you say. Just sign me up. We'll go ahead and uh, take his advice, though, about protecting our essence. In we go. Oh, look at that. We even got, like, a little diving animation. So, uh, it doesn't seem to matter how cold the water is. The only thing we have to really worry about is our O2 meter, uh, which you can see over there. Swimming is, uh, I don't know, I definitely don't have the hang of, of swimming at all. <laughs> but, uh... But I'm gonna do my best here. Make sure we grab all this shit, because you just never know. In a game like this... Yes, man, it is cold. <laughs> you never know in a game like this when you're gonna, when you're gonna need all these resources for crafting some thingamajig or other, so... We'll, uh... Yes, man, it is... It's cold, alright? You you got me. Um... Yeah, so we'll swim all over around, uh, this, uh... little lake we got here. Make sure we grab all this stuff here. There's not that much of it, I don't think. We go a little bit farther, though. All right, there we go. I don't know. It sounds like our that the robot woman voice, which you can probably barely hear by the time I'm done mixing the audio, uh, is like sounds like she's from uh, the Mech Warrior uh, Two Mercenaries. Um, the the I don't even know what to call her. I guess she's just the robot lady. <laughs> you know, instant action selected. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see if we can locate Jan again. You go back inside. That would be the sensible thing to do. He has not made it back in here yet. He is going to be maybe back where we. Oh no, there he is. I was say back where we where we left him. Did we do it? I think we did it. We did. All right, let's do the sneak test. Can I see you for a second? What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. 
Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. Hey. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. All right, don't get too excited. I do uh, also like that uh, the subtitles have all that blue text, which explains what any of this shit is, because otherwise it would just be a bunch of meaningless mumbo jumbo. <laughs> so it's it's nice to have that additional context there. I don't know if that was in the original or not, honestly, since I had never played it. Apparently this game does have some extra stuff um, that reveals some additional uh, mysteries that people uh, have wondered about for a while. All right, tell me about the test. Come here a second, would you? How does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Ulukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Notepad accessed. All right, I think we can swing that. And we can crouch. I don't know if that's required to sneak or not, if it's just a line of sight thing or, or what. I guess we'll find out in a sec here. We'll try it without uh, being in crouch mode. One, two, three. All right. I don't think we want to go yet. Probably wait for him to... Turn around here. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, telling me that I should sneak here. I'm guessing I don't. If I go, yeah. There we go. Like this. I think it's our our best bet. I don't think that log is gonna hide us. I think we'll actually maybe go all the way around to here. That was probably unnecessary. I think we can hide behind this guy. And I think we'll wait just a sec here. There we go. Right over here. Oh, that was close. And take the fruit. Yeah. You did it. I could not see you. Amazing. We are the world's greatest. Results. So, did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I have no doubts that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. <laughs> I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelphi now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the odds. All right, if you say so, I don't know what an EVD is. Um, let's uh, ask him about his father. Uh, at this point, uh, we are basically done with the tutorial, but uh, we'll go and report in to, uh, to Zorkrim after, uh, or Zakrim rather, I guess I should say, after we've chatted up his son here. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Feyron. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. Strange recruitment plan. How is your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Khazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. 
All right. So he's a little bit too excitable for my taste. I'm going to go now. Because, uh, holy shit, man. Let's take it down like one nay. Maybe two notches. Just trying to see if there's anything over here we can grab. Maybe uh, up here. Ah, uh, there is. Uh, looks like there's a little something over there. I can traverse the terrain. <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. Let's, let's see if we can hop over this. Now we looks like we have a jetpack on our on our shit here, but it uh, doesn't do much jetting. I mean, it does a lot of jetting, but and a lot of packing, but not a lot of lifting. I guess <laughs> this is the best way to to describe it. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll run inside and we'll have ourselves a quick chat with uh, Zakrim here. Probably go ahead and drop ourselves a, uh, a games hub as well. We do have a map, uh, and uh, I'm curious, is there a way that I can figure out what an EVD e is? Lexicon. Uh, how do I traverse the lexicon? I don't actually know. Oh, no, there it is. Click and drag. Uh, it does not tell me what it is. I guess I'm supposed to know what that is already. Uh, here, let's... Oh, okay, I see. It's... It is literally binoculars. And we can zoom in quite far. We have x-ray mode. That is a little creepy. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, now we know what that does. I'm sure it'll be useful. Let's, uh, have a chat. You smoking... You smoking a pipe. So we have a ton of different stuff that we can talk to him about. Uh, we'll do that after we tell him that we're ready to go here. So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Urukai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Urukai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five mons, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shemazar, the region beyond the Daoka in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shemaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well, you will need to find a Shemaz. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So, the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help, Ulukai. A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croax. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the advice. Know this. All Guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. 
May the yards be silent, Ulokai. Notepad accessed. All right, sounds good, man. Let's uh, take a look at the, uh, the portal over here. I think he's going to pop over and flip the switch for us at long last here. But uh, we are actually going to be staying here. And uh, for the rest of the episode, after we, we uh, see him turn this on, we're going to chat some people up and uh, explore. Uh, I think we haven't really gone in that house over there. I think there's some stuff in there we can grab. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll chat people up and see if we can get a little bit more uh, detail on what is going on on this world here. Hey, there we go. How about that? So we jump through there and we get transported to the, uh, what is it, the Sha Shalazar, Shemazar, something like that. Um, we will come back to you. We'll come, we'll talk to him later. Uh, let's, let's go to this house now and, uh, chat with, uh, whoever's in here. Is that? No, can't grab that. Okay. We'll grab, uh, definitely grab this ammo. Don't know why it's in here, but I'm sure that these guys aren't going to need it. There we go. All right, who are you? Can I can I not talk to you? Excuse me, sir. I would like to like to have a conversation. Are you impressed by my amazing ability to do flips and shit, sir? No. All right. I think it's only the other guy we can chat with. Raz, Raz, and Rez. Hello. Come here a second, would you? Hey there. How's it going? Great, Urukai. You are better, I see. I could be worse, although I don't really see how. I can try and give you some info about the Shamaz or the region of Shamazar if you would like. All right, tell me about uh, Shamazar. What can you tell me of Shamazar? Large temples are placed all around that region. They are all used to go to pay tribute to the Yods of the Essences. These moons, very few are allowed to travel to them and the offering plate beneath the idols atop the temple stand bare. Why can't you travel to them? Feyran has all but destroyed all forms of worship to the other Yods. Now his Yod, the Yod Fey, is the only Yod all can worship frequently. For the other three, all must do it in secret. Only the Shamas are allowed to travel much to these other temples, but even their time there is limited. What else can you tell me of Shamazar? Recent rains there have made the ground very dangerous in some parts. Be careful around the dark land areas. Also, the waters of Shamazar hold danger. I even hear stories of a large, dangerous beast in the waters behind a temple, but I do not know which one. Lexicon hmm. accessed. Guess we'll have to keep that in mind, won't we? What about uh, the Shamaz? What can you tell me about the Shamaz? They used to have greater numbers of their kind, like us guardians. But since Feyran and Cloax began to rule Adelpha, they have disappeared in great numbers. Feyran's been killing them? That is what most fear, Ulukai. Feyran has made it illegal for any Shamaz to teach about the other Yods or of the Prophet Kazar. Those that do disappear. We have made efforts as well to keep alive the teachings of Kazar and the Yods, but we too lose more guardians every moon. I fear that one moon soon there will be no more of us left. So why does Feyran allow some of the Shamas to live? He will always need Shamas. They can use their essence to heal. Croax forces them to heal his soldiers, and Feyran makes them heal the workers so they can work harder for him. There was a time that none of the Shamas would help Feyran. But when he continued to revert them until there were only a few left, they decided that they needed to stay alive to attempt to continue their teachings and agreed to Feyran's terms. They're on his side now? No, Ulukai. Never question the loyalty of a Shamas. They will all be delighted to see you and will help you the best they can. Kazar suggested this and the Shamas have listened. The only reason you should ever fear a Shamas is... Is when? Forgive me, Ulukai, but they were told by Kazar that if your essence was discovered to be evil, they were not to help you, but I am certain that will not be the case. Lexicon. What it? <laughs> so reverting a, uh, blue, I think it means kill. Let's check, check our lexicon. Is it in there? Uh, no, that's a K. S and T. So it's not even in there, but, uh, yeah, I think it sounds, that's what it sounds like to me. All right, what about you? Can I talk to you? Are you the guy? 
Yes, okay. Excuse me, pal. Hello. You have my greetings, Ulukai. I have just returned from Okasankar, and I am glad to see you are well. Where? The region of Okasankar. I was there because I was the last guardian to leave Okar, the region where we found you. It was my duty to make sure no trail was left by us that would lead the soldiers to us. Ah. Guess uh, I owe this guy a debt of gratitude then. Uh, alright, tell me about, uh... Uh, Oka Sankar. Tell me about this Oka Sankar. It is a region full of water. The city of Sayana lies around a mountain that rises high above the water there. Many say the region used to be mostly mountains countless moons ago, and that the Yogs became angry and filled it with water to drive away the ancient ones there. The ancient ones? The stories about them are many, and each is different. So many moons have passed since they were supposed to have been here that I fear no one Talan knows if they existed. What can you tell me about them? The most popular story is that there were two races in the beginning, Talan and the Ancients. The Yogs watched as both races began to live on Adelpha. When the Yogs saw the Ancients hurting Adelpha, they reacted quickly to rid Adelpha of them. Many Talan were lost in their anger, but the few that survived spoke with the Yogs and promised to never harm Adelpha again. You don't believe this story? I do not know, Ulukai. Some moons I do not. But then I think about the Daoka and other objects that no Talan knows how they arrived on Adelpha, and I wonder. Lexicon hmm. accessed. Fair enough. What can you tell me about this Okar place? That region is where we found you, Ulukai. Kazar spoke of your arriving in that region, and for many moons we hid among the trees, avoiding the soldiers of Croax. We had all but given up hope that you would arrive when we saw the bright light of your arrival. Then what happened? You arrived near a group of soldiers. They were about to discover you when we attacked them and drove them away. You attacked? Only with sleep darts and other not violent means. We never revert other Talan. After this, you were brought here to safety. Only I remained behind to hide our tracks. That region is a very dangerous one. Full of mystery it is. What kind of mystery? There are stories that the ruins of the region are the remainders of the ancients. I doubted this until I visited the region on the quest of recovering you. During the moons we hid out in the region, I saw what I think was a Daoka, except this one was very large. It had symbols at the top of it to a place I have never seen on symbols of other Daoka. But I will never know the answer to its secret. Why is that? That Daoka was broken, if it even was a Daoka. Others with me thought it to be a monument of some kind. Most Talan do not believe in the story of the ancients, but I like to think they could have been. Lexicon hmm. accessed. So another uh, place that we probably want to check out at some point. I'm assuming we'll uh, we'll get the opportunity to, uh, to go there uh, eventually. All right, I think now that is everybody that we can talk to here except for Ah, uh, the chief again, if we can find him. Not sure where he is. Yeah, the controls take a little getting used to, because when you sprint, that's how you uh, do your rolls and stuff. Um, not necessarily the behavior that I would prefer, but uh, it's not un it's not unworkable or anything. Here we go. All right, man. So we have a lot to talk about here. Um. Why don't we start with our, our Gamsav? Pardon me, buddy. Say, Zokrum, what's with that Gamsav you gave me? That is your Gamsav. It is a very special piece of Adelpha, and only a few are ever found. Great. What's it good for? If you take it in your hand and squeeze it, light and sound from inside the Gamsav grows. 
When it reaches full power, it will cause a bright flash. That flash is thought to save your essence in case you are reverted. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Be warned that if you use this near soldiers, that they will hear it and come running. Also, any energy that comes near your Gamsav will disrupt it, and you will have to begin again trying to use it. How many times can I use it? <laughs> I do not think it has a limit, Ulokai. All right, fair enough. Uh, somebody's rudely trying to listen in on our conversation. Yeah, yeah, walk on, friend. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we... <laughs> give this guy a second to get back inside, so hopefully uh, we won't be interrupted here. Um... Yeah, it's not, it's not what I, I don't want you to, are you going inside? Yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. So yeah, it sounds like our, our, our Gamsoft is a, uh, like a, a Delphin camera of sorts. As far as the, uh, the in-game story is concerned. Alright, what are we, what are we thinking here? Why don't we ask about Guardians? Tell me more about the Dolatai Guardians. Old Talon of the Essence Fae used to be Dolatai Guardians. Since the Fae Essence allows us to use our Essence to attack, we became the hunters and protectors of the Talon. So what went wrong? When Fae Ran arrived in Shamazar, he began to change the minds of some of the Fae Talon. He said that the Fae were stronger and should lead the other Talon. Many of the Fae did not listen to Fae Ran, but a few of the less honorable ones did. Why didn't you try and stop him then? Many of us began to battle with the followers of Fae Ran, but the way of the Talon must be one of peace, or the essence suffers. This is how it has been for countless thousands of moons. Kaza spoke against our use of force, and we followed his message. But Feyran took advantage of this, and reverted many of Kaza's followers. And now? Now we are but a few left. Feyran has done his best to remove our voice from Adelpha, but we continue to fight in our own way. Many Talon want us to succeed, but most are afraid to say it. Lexicon hmm. accessed. Fair enough. Uh, I guess I'm not surprised that that's how things went. <laughs> all right, so we're good there. Um, all right, let's talk about um, the Yod. What is a Yod? The Yods are the forces that watch us from above and give all Talon our essence. They are the ones who have brought you to us, we hope. <laughs> all right. Um, what about these Mon? What are these Mon you told me about again? It is said that you will come to Adelpha and reunite the five Mons. Then the season of Feyran will come to an end and all of Adelpha will be at peace once again. And what are they? No Talon knows. They were found by Kesar and then hidden from the soldiers of Feyran by all the Shamas after Kesar was reverted. Find the Shamas in any region you enter to begin finding them on, Urukai. Ah, so I was wondering when, when Kazar uh, died, and uh, it seems like it was maybe not that long ago. Uh, Alright, tell me about uh, the Shamazar. Can you tell me about Shamazar? It is the region that the Daoke in our camp leads to. This region is filled with temples and many Talon there are forced to grow food for Feyran's soldiers. Okay, I see. Um, what about Daoka? What is a Daoka? They are the travel rings that have been found throughout Adelpha for thousands and thousands of moons. No Talon knows who created them, only that they allow fast travel to regions where they lie. We turned ours off to make sure no soldiers followed us when we rescued you. Hmm, interesting you just turn them off. Alrighty. Well, uh, how about the Recreators? What's a Recreator? 
They are the ones who make the weapons for Feyran. But do not think they are bad, Ulokai. They do so against their will. Why should I see them? I know that they studied your sacred objects, and maybe the Talon, to see about finding more of them. Hmm, that sounds definitely like something that we're going to have to be doing. Uh, Alright, finally we've got uh, the leaders. What can you tell me about these leaders? They are the Talon placed in charge of supplying items for Feyran. Like tax Zorkins or food. Anything he needs to support his soldiers. And you've had trouble convincing them to stop? Yes. They know of Feyran's anger and what terrors he can bring when a Talon goes against his will. We Guardians do what we can, attacking supply convoys, storage houses, but we never can weaken them enough. You may be able to convince them, Ulakai. Any hints on how? All of the leaders would follow your words if all other Talon of that region know you are truly the Ulukai. You will have to speak with them to find out what is stopping them from helping us defeat Feyran? Thought that dude was gonna break his own neck for a second there. <laughs> um. Okay. So uh, that's good information. All right. Finally, what about uh, this Croax guy? What can you tell me of Croax? Whatever you like, Urukai. Croax was evil as a young Talon. He never played with the other Talon. Instead, he spent his time fighting and getting into all types of trouble. I think I knew this kid. Later, when he became a Dolatai guardian, he was often seen with a small group of followers stealing from others. The older guardians were about to make a judgment about his actions when news came that a higher being had arrived on Adelpha. It turned out to be Feyran. Higher being? Yes, Feyran is a higher being. He and other higher beings have come to Adelpha for all of our history. When Feyran came, he met several times with Kezar to discuss things of importance. When Feyran and Kezar were often seen arguing, Croax took advantage of this and befriended Feyran. Together, they began to gather other guardians like Croax until they had created a small army. Was there a fight? No. Kazar saw what was happening, and forbid us to attack our brother Talan. The way of the Talan has always been one of peace, or the essence suffers. So, when Veyran attacked and killed Kazar, there was little in the way of battle. Peace is nice, but it comes with a price. Yes, it does. Now we still follow the teaching of Kazar. Even when we attacked the soldiers that were waiting for you to arrive, Olokai, we used darts to put the soldiers to sleep. We will never become like our enemy. That's a nice thought. But here's another one for you. If you don't fight, who's going to continue on with your message of peace when you are all killed? That is a good question, Olokai. Yep, and I... <laughs> Apparently you don't have an answer. Uh, also, I wouldn't mind getting some of those darts. That could be useful, but it doesn't seem like he's going to give me any. I also wonder if uh, Feyran is like us, if he's a human. Because I think he called us, uh, Sakrim or whatever, he called us a higher being at one point. So uh, I'm wondering if there's any uh, any similarity there, if he's just a different, different alien species or what. Not really sure. But what I do know is that our next step lies through this portal.